Hi everybody, this is Mr. Roche. We're working with Onshape. We've done some good work with like the boxes and we were thinking about making a um, something like a chess piece, which would be fun to make. So let's make a new Onshape document. We'll call it like chess. And, um, and we'll see what we can do here. Okay. And, um, uh, last time we worked, we noticed that when Onshape opened it, gave you these three planes. Um, last time we had sort of started from the top plane working up to make the box. Um, this time it makes sense to sort of start drawing from the front plane. So what we're going to do is make a new sketch on this. And then I'm going to make the plane <coughs> um, sit up. So like that. Okay. And then... Um, the one thing that you're going to do with this is you're going to make a sort of a symmetrical thing that you're going to wrote, you're going to revolve. And um, I want to show you how to make something called a construction line. So a construction line is one that doesn't, it, it, it uses, you can use it to help you like, you know, center things or, um, you know, find the lengths of things or find relations to things. But it's not part of the drawings. We extrude it doesn't get included in it. So what's going to happen is um, I'm going to make a, sh a line here. Okay, big old line. Okay, and that's an official line. So if it was going to, if, if I was going to, um, and I, I just hit escape to get out of the line tool. Um, but there is a, um, there's a setting called construction. And if I go like this and I click on this line, it becomes a construction line, I think. It should, or maybe click on the line first and do that. There it is, and it becomes a construction line. So the line looks like this. This is like from drawings and things like this. But I can use the construction line to center things. And um, for this piece, um, um, you might want to do a bunch of different things, but um, it might help right now to use a center point rectangle because we can center the point very easily, right? And I'm going to try to make the bottom of it. Okay, so this would be like the bottom of the piece. Okay, and what's cool though is that this is like super centered, right? And that's a good thing. Okay, so I have this like little piece here. Um, I might change my dimensions to um, two centimeters because it's just easier to work with for this kind of thing. Um, even millimeters could work here. Um, and I'll say okay. And then um, I'm going to get back to my sketch. Um, I might want to dimension this. So we hit the dimension uh, tool. Let's see what this is. Okay, so it's 72, so it's about seven centimeters. Um, I think that's pretty big for a chess piece. I think my, uh, my thing about 30, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, I can zoom in on it a little bit. Okay, I rotated, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, whoop, um, get this to go right. Um, Okay, you can just like pick these up and move them too. Um, okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, there, it would be a secondary like little, let me see. Um, I might do this. Um, let me make a second plane here. And I'm just kind of like stacking them. But that's okay, let's make this. Um, um, 23. Oh, I didn't that wrong. Okay, these are all center point rectangles, so things are symmetrical. They just have to, I think they just have to be sort of touching. Um, it seems okay. Um, this is my box here. It's supposed to be like 23. I keep doing that. 23.0. That seems good. And then the width here could be like 6. So I don't know. On a Mac, I don't know. I, I have to use the point to do this. So let's do 6.4 or something like that. Okay. Um, let's look at more chess pieces too. Okay, so it looks like they have, um, and I know there's curvy things, but we can get to them. So it has this kind of curve like that. Um, it looks kind of good. 
And, um, and with these things, so I'm going to go like this and uh, make another box. But I'm going to show you how to make an arc on the box. So I'm kind of using boxes to kind of, um, you know, orient myself. So that's a pretty big box. And let's see what happens here. So I'm going to go like this. I want to arc. Okay, so I have these different sort of arcs that I can make. Okay. Um, maybe a conic one. That sounds kind of good. Um, I'm going to go like this. And this. And what it'll let me do is do like something like this. Okay. So that's kind of good. Okay. And um, I can also do uh, like a thing I call a mirror. So I can pick this. So this is like the mirror line. And then I can pick um, this. I think I can. Pick this. Pick this. Mirror. Pick the mirror line. And then it goes like that. See? So that's pretty good. Um, and then um, let me see what else I want here. I guess it would be good to have some kind of curvy thing here. I don't know, that seems okay. Um, let's make a, a, a centered circle. I think I can do the center point circle here. Or actually, let's make an ellipse. So what's gonna happen with the ellipse? So I'm gonna click to a center point and then a major axis and a radius. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a center point. And there you go. I can pick my major axis. Okay. Whoa. And then a radius. I'm gonna make it like touch that. That's cool. And then um, I don't know. Um, let me see. I could make um, another center point rectangle here. Okay, um, that's okay. Like this, this one, that should be shorter. I'll go here and maybe say like 15. Okay. Okay, it proportionally pushed this one though. Hang on a sec. Um, <coughs> let me see. I guess, let me see. Yes, that's okay. Um, okay, I guess what I want to do is I want to make a. Um, so sort of a polygon shape. And I can do this by just picking like a place to do it. And then it'll kind of make, make a shape. I'm kind of trying to make the top of the queen thing, right? And I have the wrong um, sides. So I want to go like this yeah so that even works okay and then I actually I need to rotate this so hang on a sec. very unfortunate but maybe we can rotate it here whoopee Yeah, that's more what I want. And then um, I might want to move this. No, I think it's actually okay. So go with that. Oops. Get that rid. Get rid of that. 
And then what I wanted to do was make a kind of an inner part to it. Um, it's going to go from like here to here. So it looks like the crown. And there to there. Okay. Um, let's see what that looks like. And then I have a whole lot of excess sort of stuff that I need to do. Um, yeah. So I've got this shape here, and I'm just going to kind of add some stuff to it. I'm kind of trying to make it roundier. So I might try like that. Okay, which was good. And then um, this is a reflection thing. So we're going to go like this. Um, I'm fine with that, so I'm going to escape from that. And I'm going to pick it. Okay, oh, geez. Um, I'm going to pick it, pick my shape. And I'm going to pick the mirror tool and mirror it over there. And that's good. Okay. And then I can kind of clean it up. Okay. So let me see what I got here. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Everything's cool. And then um, what we're going to do is just cut, cut down. So cutting, um, cutting. I think I got to delete that somehow, but hang on. Let's let those be for a second. I'm just going in here. Okay, I'm not sure what's up with that. Oh, this, this is the inscribed. Um, those are construction lines, so I don't need to get rid of those. That's okay. Let's see. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, and basically the more cleaned up it is, the better. You can kind of deal with this stuff if you need to, but um, but basically just doing this is is probably better for the thing. What you end up with is is just you need a a piece that's put together here in one big unit. I don't want to have in there. That's okay. Okay. That's coming in there. Okay. And that's pretty good. Um, I might like arc this because this is going to be a big. Oh, that's kind of nice. Look at that. Like that. Um, we can mirror that. Mm -hmm. And then we can put like a, a space for the, the crown that's actually going to end up there. So that's pretty good. And um, you can see that it's turning gray, so that's excellent. Um, I gotta kind of wrap it up because I'm running out of time. Okay, so this is good. And then what I might do is take my construction line and make it not a construction line anymore. <coughs> so pick this. Oh, I think I'm cutting. Sorry. Um, in that case, what I'll do is I'll just redraw here. Pick a point here. Just draw through this. Okay. And um, I think that's got it on here. Yeah, actually, like this. Um, yeah, and that's kind of it. If you wanted to, you could you could cut the um, the parts here. Like see, like that. That's what I kind of need. So I'm going to say okay to the sketch. And what I have is I have a kind of a, a silhouette of half the half the piece. And I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to pick the revolve <coughs> axis, which will be this. And there you go. You have a chess piece. Okay? So if you want to try that, that would be great. And um, talk to you later.